Hey everyone, it's Phoebe from Field and Forest Products, and today we're going to go over the proper time to cut wood for mushroom log inoculation. Now, most people harvest wood in the late winter and early spring to inoculate in spring. But did you know that you can also cut wood in the early fall of the year and inoculate it that same year? Today we're going to go over some of the benefits of a fall cut and inoculation. The first reason that you might want to consider cutting wood in the fall of the year is because fall is a great time to be outside. Think apple picking and pumpkin spice. But another reason is that in the north, snow has yet to become a factor. And also, you can easily identify trees in the fall of the year as they still have their leaves. You will want to make sure that you wait for the trees to enter dormancy before you harvest. Now, you can tell that trees are in dormancy by general color change in the canopy. You're looking for about 30% of the canopy as a whole to have changed color, and that signals the trees are in dormancy. Now, why is this important? The first reason that dormancy is important is because of nutrition in the wood. Think of it this way. You've waited the entire summer. The trees have been photosynthesizing all summer, moving nutrients into the wood. This means that there will be more nutrition for your mushrooms. The second reason you'll want to wait for dormancy is because the active transportation of water and nutrients within the wood has slowed down. This means that the bark is going to be tighter onto the wood, and bark retention is important because it helps monitor moisture in that wood, making it a good environment for your mushroom mycelium. The third reason is that at this time of year, the cells within the wood are actually still quite soft, making it easy for the mushroom mycelium to penetrate and move through the wood. The wood cells will continue to harden through winter, and this is a tree's way of preventing any frost cracking. So it's best to be able to inoculate the cells while they're still nice and soft. Something to keep in mind with all of this talk about timing and inoculation is that springtime is still an optimal time to cut wood, as long as you cut it before bud swell and bud break in the spring of the year. There are a few slight advantages to inoculating in the fall of the year, but keep in mind it can also be done in spring very successfully. Really the best time to inoculate wood is when you have the time to do so. If you're really busy in the spring of the year planting other crops, this is a really good way to wrap up this task before you get involved in other crop maintenance. Now a few key points if you do choose to inoculate in fall. There is a little bit of difference between northern climates and southern climates with the fall time inoculation and we're going to briefly cover those. The main guideline that you're looking for is that once you cut your logs, you want to give them at least a week to cure. Now, after that is the perfect time to inoculate them. After you inoculate the logs, you need at least four weeks of temperatures in the daytime highs floating in the 50s. This will allow the mycelium to establish itself in the wood to be able to make it through the winter. So if you're living in the north, you want to make sure to cut your trees when they're in their early dormancy to be able to get those four weeks of temperatures in the 50s. However, if you live in the south, you have a little bit more time and you can cut the trees later into dormancy as you have an extended warm season. Post inoculation, and this is especially true in the north, you're going to want to keep your logs stacked low to the ground. This will prevent them from losing any additional moisture. For more detailed information on how to stack your logs for winter storage, we've created a video especially on that subject matter. It's linked below, so make sure to watch that before the cold weather sets in.